Norovirus, Wikipedia article audio. Norovirus, sometimes referred to as the winter vomiting bug, is the most common cause of gastroenteritis. Infection is characterized by diarrhea, vomiting, and stomach pain. Blood is not usually present. Fever or headaches may also occur. This usually develops 12 to 48 hours after being exposed. Recovery typically occurs within 1 to 3 days. Complications may include dehydration. Signs and Symptoms Virology Transmission Classification Structure Life Cycle Pathophysiology Diagnosis Prevention Hand Washing and Disinfectants Healthcare Facilities Vaccine Trials Persistence Detection in Food Treatment Epidemiology Human Genetics History The virus is usually spread by the fecal-oral route. This may be by contaminated food or water or person-to-person -person contact. It may also spread via contaminated surfaces or through the air. Risk factors include unsanitary food preparation. Diagnosis is generally based on symptoms. Confirmatory testing may be done for public health purposes. Prevention involves proper hand washing and disinfection of contaminated surfaces. Alcohol-based hand sanitizers are less effective. A vaccine does not exist. There is no specific treatment. Efforts involve supportive care such as drinking sufficient fluids or intravenous fluids. Norovirus results in about 685 million cases of disease and 200,000 deaths globally a year. It is common both in the developed and developing world. Those under the age of 5 are most often affected and in this group it results in about 50,000 deaths in the developing world. Disease more commonly occurs in winter months. It often occurs in outbreaks, especially among those living in close quarters. In the United States it is the cause of about half of foodborne disease outbreaks. The disease is named after Norwalk, Ohio, where an outbreak occurred in 1972. Norovirus infection is characterized by nausea, vomiting, watery diarrhea, abdominal pain, and in some cases, loss of taste. A person usually develops symptoms of gastroenteritis 12 to 48 hours after being exposed to norovirus. General lethargy, weakness, muscle aches, headaches, and low-grade fevers may occur. The disease is usually self-limiting and severe illness is rare. Although having norovirus can be unpleasant, it is not usually dangerous and most who contract it make a full recovery within two to three days. Noroviruses are transmitted directly from person to person and indirectly via contaminated water and food. They are extremely contagious, and fewer than 20 virus particles can cause an infection. Transmission can be aerosolized when those stricken with the illness vomit, and can be aerosolized by a toilet flush when vomit or diarrhea is present. Infection can follow eating food or breathing air near an episode of vomiting, even if cleaned up. The viruses continue to be shed after symptoms have subsided and shedding can still be detected many weeks after infection. Vomiting, in particular, transmits infection effectively, and appears to allow airborne transmission. In one incident, a person who vomited spread infection across a restaurant, 
suggesting that many unexplained cases of food poisoning may have their source in vomit. In December 1998, 126 people were dining at six tables, one woman vomited onto the floor. Staff quickly cleaned up, and people continued eating. Three days later others started falling ill, 52 people reported a range of symptoms, from fever and nausea to vomiting and diarrhea. The cause was not immediately identified. Researchers plotted the seating arrangement, more than 90% of the people at the same table as the sick woman later reported becoming ill. There was a direct correlation between the risk of infection of people at other tables and how close they were to the sick woman. More than 70% of the diners at an adjacent table fell ill, at a table on the other side of the restaurant, the attack rate was still 25%. The outbreak was attributed to a Norwalk-like virus. Other cases of transmission by vomit were later identified. In one outbreak at an international scout jamboree in the Netherlands, each person with gastroenteritis infected an average of 14 people before increased hygiene measures were put in place. Even after these new measures were enacted, an ill person still infected an average of 2.1 other people. A U.S. CDC study of 11 outbreaks in New York State lists the suspected mode of transmission as person-to-person -person in seven outbreaks, foodborne in two, waterborne in one, and one unknown. The source of waterborne outbreaks may include water from municipal supplies, wells, recreational lakes, swimming pools, and ice machines. Shellfish and salad ingredients are the foods most often implicated in norovirus outbreaks. Ingestion of shellfish that have not been sufficiently heated under 75 degrees Celsius poses a high risk for norovirus infection. Foods other than shellfish may be contaminated by infected food handlers. Many norovirus outbreaks have been traced to food that was handled by one infected person. Noroviruses are a genetically diverse group of single-stranded positive sense RNA, non-enveloped viruses belonging to the family Calisiviridae. According to the International Committee on Taxonomy of Viruses, the genus Norovirus has one species, which is called Norwalk virus. Serotypes, strains, and isolates include Noroviruses commonly isolated in cases of acute gastroenteritis belong to two genogroups. Genogroup I includes Norwalk virus, Desert Shield virus and Southampton virus, and two which includes Bristol virus, Lordsdale virus, Toronto virus, Mexico virus, Hawaii virus, and Snow Mountain virus. Noroviruses can genetically be classified into five different genogroups, which can be further divided into different genetic clusters or genotypes. For example, genogroup 2, the most prevalent human genogroup, presently contains 19 genotypes. Genogroups I, 2 and 4 infect humans, whereas genogroup 3 infects bovine species, and genogroup V has recently been isolated in mice. Most noroviruses that infect humans belong to genogroups GI and G. Noroviruses from genogroup 2, Genotype 4 account for the majority of adult outbreaks of gastroenteritis and often sweep across the globe. Recent examples include US 95-96 US strain, associated with global outbreaks in the mid to late 1990s, Farmington Hills virus associated with outbreaks in Europe and the United States in 2002 and in 2004 and hunter virus which was associated with outbreaks in Europe, Japan, and Australasia. In 2006, there was another large increase in NOV infection around the globe. 
Reports have shown a link between the expression of human histoblood group antigens and the susceptibility to norovirus infection. Studies have suggested the viral capsid of noroviruses may have evolved from selective pressure of human HBGAs. A 2008 study suggests the protein MDA5 may be the primary immune sensor that detects the presence of noroviruses in the body. Some people have common variations of the MDA5 gene that could make them more susceptible to norovirus infection. A 2010 study suggested a specific genetic version of norovirus interacts with a specific mutation in the ATG16L1 gene to help trigger symptomatic Crohn's disease in mice that have been subjected to a chemical that causes intestinal injury similar to the process in humans. Viruses in norovirus are non-enveloped, with icosahedral geometries. Capsid diameters vary widely, from 2340 nm in diameter. The larger capsids exhibit T equals 3 symmetry and are composed of 180 VP1 proteins. Small capsids show T equals 1 symmetry, and are composed of 60 VP1 proteins. The virus particles demonstrate an amorphous surface structure when visualized using electron microscopy. Noroviruses contain a linear, non-segmented, positive sense RNA genome of approximately 7.5 kbp, encoding a large polyprotein which is cleaved into six smaller non-structural proteins by the viral 3C-like proteins a major structural protein of about 5860 keta and a minor capsid protein. The most variable region of the viral capsid is the P2 domain, which contains antigen-presenting sites and carbohydrate receptor binding regions. The estimated mutation rate in this virus is high even compared with other RNA viruses. In addition, a recombination hotspot exists at the ORF1, ORF2 junction. Viral replication is cytoplasmic. Entry into the host cell is achieved by attachment to host receptors, which mediates endocytosis. Replication follows the positive stranded RNA virus replication model. Positive stranded RNA virus transcription is the method of replication. Translation takes place by leaky scanning and RNA termination reinitiation. Humans and other mammals serve as the natural host. Transmission routes are fecal oral and contamination. When a person becomes infected with norovirus, the virus is replicated within the small intestine. After approximately one to two days, norovirus infection symptoms can appear. The principal symptom is acute gastroenteritis that develops between 12 and 48 hours after exposure, and lasts for 24-72 hours. The disease is usually self-limiting, and characterized by nausea, forceful vomiting, watery diarrhea, and abdominal pain and in some cases, loss of taste. General lethargy, weakness, muscle aches, headache, coughs, and low-grade fever may occur. Severe illness is rare, although people are frequently treated at the emergency ward, they are rarely admitted to the hospital. The number of deaths from norovirus in the United States is estimated to be around 300 each year, with most of these occurring in the very young, the elderly, and persons with weakened immune systems. Symptoms may become life-threatening in these groups if dehydration or electrolyte imbalance is ignored or not treated. Specific diagnosis of norovirus is routinely made by polymerase chain reaction assays or quantitative PCR assays, which give results within a few hours. These assays are very sensitive and can detect as few as 10 virus particles. 
Tests such as ELISA that use antibodies against a mixture of norovirus strains are available commercially, but lack specificity and sensitivity. Due to a lack of specific therapy, the need for expensive stool diagnostics is being questioned by experts if gastroenteritis by noroviruses has already been detected in the environment. After infection, immunity to the same strain of the virus the genotype protects against reinfection for between 6 months to 2 years. This immunity does not fully protect against infection with the other diverse genotypes of the virus. In Canada, norovirus is a notifiable disease. In the UK it is not notifiable, and the same applies in the US. Hand washing with soap and water is an effective method for reducing the transmission of norovirus pathogens. Alcohol rubs may be used as an adjunct, but are less effective than hand washing, as norovirus lacks a lipid viral envelope. Surfaces where norovirus particles may be present can be sanitized with a solution of 1.5% to 7.5% of household bleach in water, or other disinfectants effective against norovirus. In healthcare environments, the prevention of nosocomial infections involves routine and terminal cleaning. Non-flammable alcohol vapor in CO2 systems is used in healthcare environments where medical electronics would be adversely affected by aerosolized chlorine or other caustic compounds. Norwalk virus, Hawaii virus, Snow Mountain virus, Mexico virus, Desert Shield virus, Southampton virus, Lordsdale virus, Wilkinson virus. In 2011, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention published a clinical practice guideline addressing strategies for the prevention and control of norovirus gastroenteritis outbreaks in healthcare settings. Based on a systematic review of published scientific studies, the guideline presents 51 specific evidence based recommendations, which were organized into 12 categories. 1. Patient cohorting and isolation precautions, 2. Hand hygiene, 3. Patient transfer and ward closure, 4. Food handlers in healthcare, 5. Diagnostics, 6. Personal protective equipment, 7. Environmental cleaning, 8. Staff leave and policy, 9. Visitors, 10. Education, 11. Active case finding, and 12. Communication and Notification. The guideline also identifies eight high priority recommendations and suggests several areas in need of future research. Legocyte announced in 2007 that it was working on a vaccine and had started phase one trials. The company has since been taken over by Takeda. As of 2011, a monovalent nasal vaccine had completed phase I-2 trials, while bivalent intramuscular and nasal vaccines were at earlier stages of development. The two vaccines rely on using a virus-like particle that is made of the norovirus capsid proteins in order to mimic the external structure of the virus. Since there is no RNA in this particle, it is incapable of reproducing and cannot cause an infection. The norovirus can survive for long periods outside a human host depending on the surface and temperature conditions, it can stay for weeks on hard surfaces, and up to 12 days on contaminated fabrics, and it can survive for months, maybe even years in contaminated still water. A 2006 study found the virus remained on surfaces used for food preparation seven days after contamination. Routine protocols to detect norovirus in clams and oysters by reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction are being employed by governmental laboratories such as the Food and Drug Administration in the USA. There is no specific medicine to treat people with norovirus illness. 
Norovirus infection cannot be treated with antibiotics because it is not a bacterial infection. Treatments aim to avoid complications by measures such as the management of dehydration caused by fluid loss in vomiting and diarrhea, and to mitigate symptoms using antiemetics and antidiarrheals. Norovirus causes about 18% of all cases of acute gastroenteritis worldwide. It is relatively common in developed countries and in low mortality developing countries compared to high mortality developing countries. Proportionately it causes more illness in people in the community or in hospital outpatients as compared with hospital inpatients in whom other causes are more common. Age and emergence of new norovirus strains do not appear to affect the proportion of gastroenteritis attributable to norovirus. Norovirus is a common cause of epidemics of gastroenteritis on cruise ships. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention through its Vessel Sanitation Program record and investigate outbreaks of gastrointestinal illness mostly caused by norovirus on cruise ships with both a U.S. and foreign itinerary, there were 12 in 2015, and 10 from January 1 to May 9, 2016. An outbreak may affect over 25% of passengers and a smaller proportion of crew members. A non-functional fucosyl transferase FUT2 provides high protection from the most common norovirus G.4. Functional FUT2 fucosyl transferase transfers a fucose sugar to the end of the histo blood group ABO precursor in gastrointestinal cells and saliva glands. The ABH antigen produced is thought to act as receptors for human norovirus. Homozygous carriers of any nonsense mutation in the FUT2 gene are called non-secretors, as no ABH antigen is produced. Approximately 20% of Caucasians are non-secretors due to the G428A and C571T nonsense mutations in FUT2 and therefore have strong although not absolute protection from the norovirus G.4. Non-secretors can still produce ABH antigens in erythrocytes, as the precursor is formed by FUT1. Some norovirus genotypes can infect non-secretors. Epidemiological studies have shown that individuals with different ABH phenotypes are infected with NOV strains in a genotype-specific manner. G.4 includes global epidemic strains and binds to more histoblood group antigens than other genogroups. A Japanese study in 2003 revealed that children with blood group type AB had a lower risk of infection than those with blood group type AORO. The study demonstrated that individuals with type of blood were less susceptible to norovirus, and type O people were the most vulnerable. The norovirus was originally named the Norwalk agent after Norwalk, Ohio, in the United States where an outbreak of acute gastroenteritis occurred among children at Bronson Elementary School in November 1968. In 1972, electron microscopy on stored human stool samples identified a virus, which was given the name Norwalk virus. Numerous outbreaks with similar symptoms have been reported since. The cloning and sequencing of the Norwalk virus genome showed that these viruses have a genomic organization consistent with viruses belonging to the family Calisiviridae. The name norovirus was approved by the International Committee on Taxonomy of Viruses in 2002. In 2011, however, a press release and a newsletter were published by ICTV which strongly encouraged the media, national health authorities and the scientific community to use the virus name Norwalk virus, rather than the genus name norovirus, when referring to outbreaks of the disease.
This was also a public response by ICTV to the request from an individual in Japan to rename the norovirus genus because of the possibility of negative associations for people in Japan and elsewhere who have the family name Noro. Before this position of ICTV was made public, ICTV consulted widely with members of the Kalisiviridi study group and carefully discussed the case. In addition to Norwalk agent and Norwalk virus, the virus has also been called Norwalk-like virus, small, round structured viruses, Spencer flu and snow mountain virus. Common names of the illness caused by noroviruses still in use include Roskildu illness, winter vomiting disease, winter vomiting bug, viral gastroenteritis, and acute nonbacterial gastroenteritis. It also colloquially is known as stomach flu, but this actually is a broad name that refers to gastric inflammation caused by a range of viruses and bacteria.